Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for the final part of our invasion review, and it's amazing. It's the good part. Like, I, I mean, the I, flash part was great too. Yeah. I mean, it's all good, but this is the best. Yeah, of course. Like, there are even times, there have been times when I feel like re-watching something and I just watch the third part on its well, own. That's the story I've got to tell, because if you may or may not know, when I first watched everything, the first thing I ever watched was Legends. I watched the first season, I watched the second season, I was loving the show. But it's at this point when I realised I've really got to watch the other shows. Not because I was lacking it, but because I was excited by it. You know, I only saw this part, and it wasn't that I felt, oh, this is confusing or boring or whatever. Mm. I was excited! I yeah. loved it. I thought, oh, wow, this is really good. This is like being in a whole, you know, collected universe, which is what it is. You know? Even though, yes, you obviously you're not going to understand every character, I still say that the Legends episode you can follow even if you're just a Legends fan. Yeah, similarly, I think I had, I think I watched the first two seasons of Legends before I tried Flash. Yeah, you did the same as me, I think. Yeah. And again, I think you only watched the first part. No, I think I, you did watch the whole show. Yeah, I watched all three parts of Invasion when I got up to it in Legends. Yeah. Which is why, at first, I didn't particularly like the middle part. Yeah. Sure, it had Sarah and Ray, but... But that's like I said, the, even the, the Flash part, you can still fairly enjoy it, even if you don't watch Flash. Mm. But, yeah. But, yeah, the Arrow part had its issues, but it was still great. But, yeah. Last episode, I was going to mention something, and it still pertains to this episode, is from this point on in Arrow, you've... You've got to remember that this is not Oliver's original suit and bow. It's just one they made on the Wave Rider. Yeah. Because when, when say... no, because they walk in with the old clothes, and then Nate says something like, "Well, fortunately, we have a machine that can make old clothes and weapons." Okay. So that what? means from this point on, whenever you see Oliver, it's, it's he's got a new bow thanks to the Wave Rider. Okay, but when the when they got pulled up with for, with the beams. That was right after they had that big f mind control fight. Yeah. So, wasn't wouldn't Ray have been in his suit? Did he lose the suit? It's okay. He can make a new one. He said, "To be fair, he may have been speaking figuratively, but last in the previous Legends episode, he did say he's got enough dwarf staff for twenty Adam suits." Yeah, but still, so now building the actual suit takes a while like you saw him and cisco working on it at the start but he, well he built one and we don't know how much time passed between this and the next legends episode per se so i mean he built one between was ray in the big fight scene yeah he was in the suit when barry fought him he shot he threw lightning at him ah yeah, yeah he was wearing a suit when he got abducted no i mean in this episode oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah of course he was that means he rebuilt the suit quickly. Oh, you're right. I guess he did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess maybe he had backup. Maybe he already built backup suits just in case. Maybe. I mean, he knew there may one day come in. He's Speaking of suits, Nate got a suit. I mean, we already saw the suit at the end of Outlaw Country. But, but now this, he's wearing Yeah, it. this is the first time where Nate wears his new suit. And I don't mind the suit. It's the helmet that looks a little silly. Yeah, I guess I so. don't mind, you yeah, know, the helmet looks a bit odd. Why do you even need a helmet to protect your head? You turn to steel. Yeah, I know. His argument was that his clothes stretch, but his head is fine. Hmm. And uh, I guess, well, to be fair, it helps protect his identity, although he's travelled through time. Although it does help because, again, we're skipping ahead, but in the after party, all the heroes were standing up on that thing. Yeah. I mean... Some, obviously, like, Oliver and Barry were wearing their masks, and I guess Nate had a mask, so now if anyone does see him, they'll all know he's not him. But then people could, would see Mick and say, hey, that guy's a criminal. <laughs> I know, that's... A, they'd, that's... Say a, they'd see Amaya and say, hey, that looks like a lady that I saw in an old photo from 1960-something. Nobody would say that. There'd be more... Nah. If, if anyone was keen-eyed, they'd wonder, hey... Isn't that the suit and item that Vixen wears? Yeah. <laughs> uh, or imagine if Vixen herself was at the after party. Or at least just sees it. Well, hopefully hopefully these photos didn't, like, go on the news or anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Grandma, you look so young. That's, oh, well, this will, let's not focus too much on that. That's a minor thing. Yeah. But since it's Legends, we do get to have time travel, which... 
What did the time travel achieve? Um, we went back and we were planning to kidnap a Dominator. We got captured and we saved a Dominator. Yeah, but in the, I mean, I get, I, I guess they had a better plan, but I guess in the end they realized their plan sucked. Mm. I mean, it was an excuse to put like Cisco and Felicity on the Wave Rider, which is fun, because that's a, that's the thing. I love that. Again, that's what made me fall in love. Because think about it, the first time I watched that, that scene, I loved that scene, even though I'd never seen Arrow or Flash or anything. I had no contact. Oh, yeah, you don't know those two people, and yet they got saved by Team Tech Support. Well, or even just like the scene where they're sitting in the wave right and talking about Flashpoint, I was still loving that scene. Like, I could follow it. I'm fairly good at following shows I barely pay attention to. I but mean, it was mentioned in the previous way. Still, I know. I love, I, I don't know why this is a minor note, but I really loved that previously. It's one of my favourite previously. It was a pretty long one, but it was also... It did good at covering everything. Well, it had to... Well, the thing is, it didn't just cover, like, Arrow and Flash. It also covered some of the stuff in Lily. Because, obviously, Lily's back. And like we said, if you didn't watch the um, Flash part, you don't see the true introduction of Lily. Yeah. So, yeah. So, obviously, Lily's here, but we get a bit more focused because now it's the Legends episode. So, yeah. Yeah, so we continue that plot where at first Stein thinks that he's planning to somehow fix and get rid of her. I mean, it is an interesting plot line to add to Legends because, you know, we're all about stopping aberrations, but what happens when you make one of your own? So it is a good idea. Yeah, and I, I And I like, what the, I, I like what they did and I like the fact they're going to continue on with it and all that. Yeah, like when... The others found out about Flashpoint. Can't remember if it was Ray or Sarah, but one of them said, "We're always stopping yeah. operations, and you went and made your own." So, how would the rest of the legends feel when Stein tells them? Would Sarah tell Stein, "Right, we're going to fix this," or would she let him keep her? Well, we'll have to find out what happens in later Legends episodes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that was great. Obviously, we find out the plan that the Dominators hate metahumans for some reason. You ever think about the plan that the Dominators' plan is a lot like Maxwell Lord's plan in Season 1? It's like, we'll kill all the metahumans, but this may also kill a bunch of innocent humans. Just like Maxwell Lord's plan to, like, kill the Kryptonians, but they'll kill a bunch of innocent people in National City. Yeah, true. Yeah, I just thought of that randomly, but yeah. Plus... It's not just that their plan would have also killed regular humans. It's just that oh, there are metas that are not bad that don't deserve to die. Exactly. The Dominator's plan hinged on, well, what if a bad guy gets powers and then reaches out into space and tries to conquer other planets? I mean, exactly, but well, well. But still, and then if, I... I as much as people will say it's dumb that Barry tries to surrender, I still like the t the scene where, like, you see the shot of all of them standing there telling Barry not to surrender. And then And everyone gets get, their own little bits to hand him. And then we get the only real resolution we get to Cisco's drama. Yes! Cisco drama is solved, everybody! It is solved, but I feel like they didn't really solve it properly. I don't care. It's done, it's you, over. I know you don't care. But yeah, just the words, you're my friend, was enough to fix everything. Which, I guess, Cisco is trying to be more what? understanding because, what? yeah, he feels like he understands because they made the mistake of freeing the Dominator. Well, I guess it's one. To be fair, Cisco's logic was always flimsy, so he realised how stupid he's being when he realises how carried away you can get in the heroics of time travel. Mm. It's not so much about trying to compare Flashpoint to this minor thing they did, but rather re flat Cisco really realising how easy it is to get caught up and not thinking about the consequences. Cisco realised, shit, I'm being an idiot. Let's forget this mess. Mm. I mean, that's the thing. It wasn't drama between it. It was just Cisco being an idiot. But hey, once again, another show has solved drama of a different show. Legends has solved Flash drama. Okay. I love when other I mean, shows... it is, it's a crossover, so it's all the same thing. Still, I love when shows do that. And then, of course, we have to talk about the highlight, of course, is that final fight scene on the rooftop. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Easily the best fight scene we've had so far in the Arrowverse. There's later better fight scenes in different crossovers, but this is one of them. And, of course, for some reason, Cisco's in the Wave Rider with Sarah. Even though 
he does blasty stuff now, so why couldn't he help fight? We haven't really seen him fight, though, except that one time in the first episode. Oh, true, that one yeah. time he saved Barry. Yeah, he hasn't really done any fighting just yet. That's true, I'm thinking too far ahead. Yeah, yeah, but still, amazing fight scenes, so many little good moments, every character's doing their own little thing, whether it's Supergirl, Barry... Um, and and Ray. Kara saves Oliver when he falls. Yeah, there's so many little good moments. I have to, of course, compliment the soundtrack of that fight scene. It is incredible. Seriously, go on Spotify. Go listen to the Invasion soundtrack for that fight scene. I've listened to it so many times. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, the music is always great, as is the costume department. I guess. They were just in their usual outfits. What about at the end where, like... Kara's wearing a different outfit. I'm oh, not yeah, going to ask where she got it. But then uh, Sarah's wearing an awesome outfit. I was more going to... I do like the joke they made about like Felicity and um, Kara looking alike when they both wear the ponytail and glasses. Yes. Yeah. But also Sarah had her hair in braids and it was awesome. Yeah. Although I think I mentioned it before in the previous Legends episode because that's the outfit she was wearing Right when they got the call to come help. Well, there you go. They, she probably brought that outfit and her canary outfit. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, and you got... Of course, you have to get the Ray Palmer makes a joke about his cousin who looks like Kara. Yeah, because he played Superman. Yeah, which... Don't think too hard on it. It raises too many questions when things happen later. But let's not... It's just a joke. Don't yeah, worry. it's just a joke. But, seriously, love that fight scene. It's one of those things where it feels... I mean, it goes on for several minutes. I love the fight scenes that go on for several minutes and every character's doing their own thing. It's like every time you rewatch a cut a cr fight scene, you see all the little different things happening and the music. And it's like I said, the fight scenes where the music is so good, I can tell you what's happening just listening to the music. Mm. Although that probably helps out of scene invasion and its music so many damn times. But Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a great fight scene where... It, it's long, but it doesn't feel like it drags on. It feels like, man, I just wanted to keep going and going and going. And, and of course, they love doing, th this episode especially, loves doing the crossover shots, like when Barry's about to surrender and you see the shot of all of them standing there, or, of course, the shot of them all standing on the roof. Yeah, those are all amazing. They're all amazing. you got to love it. I've even got to give shout-out to... um. The opening, like the title card, especially the Legends one, where it has all the logos. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's because that's the thing. The Flash one did that. The Legends one didn't did that. The Arrow one didn't. Instead, it did one where it showed all the different arrows. Cause it, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that last time, but that looked really cool how the arrows I did like that, other. yeah. But at the same time, I wish it would have done more similar to what Flash and Legends do. Yeah, of course. They should have combined logos a bit more. Yeah. But also, it was Arrow 100 episode. Exactly. And, of course, of course you get the great Firestorm scene of them stopping the bomb and the amazing Firestorm music. And, God, Yeah, that's... we haven't done Transmutation in a while. It's only happened, like, two other times when they... It's only happened like... The Meteor and the practice before that. Yeah, that's it. And then I swear it only happens one other time. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a thing they can do. Why don't they do it more often? I guess the writers can't think of enough points where they should easily use that thing. There are plenty of other times where they could have gotten out of problems by using it. Can't you transmutate like doors have been locked behind or something? Yeah, exactly. Oh, well. But whatever, and of course you get the ending scene where like Kara gets the thing so she can travel between universes. There's so many good stuff. I absolutely love this crossover. It's probably my second favourite crossover. I mean, this ending part is so good because that's the thing about doing a crossover in sections like this is if you're reviewing the episodes as individuals, which some people like us do do, it does mean that some episodes are going to inherently be better because... If you've got an ending, usually endings are way more better because you've got the crazy fight scene, you've got all those stuff. So yeah, of course. The ending usually gets an advantage unless you're a show that can't write a good ending, which, to be fair, there are some crossovers which can't write good endings. Oh, okay. But this one is great. This is a case of where having Legends be the final part really works in favour of oh, it. Oh, yeah. But... I suppose that's it. Have we said how good this episode is? I'll go nine. I'm giving it a ten out of ten. Okay. You knew I was going to. Yeah.
you knew I was going to. All these parts are going to be great. You're going to see 10 on 10s about of, with a lot of my favourite crossovers. Not all crossovers, but this one especially. Yeah. But, I suppose, we'll see you next time for more Legends of Tomorrow and other things as well. See, see you, you next, next time, guys. guys.